assalamu alaikum in today's video we will discuss scalar and vectors so what is scalar a scalar has only magnitude that is size let's suppose 3.044 minus 7 etc these are all the scalar quantity so what is magnitude a number with proper unit is called magnitude like 3 kilometer yeah 3 centimeter 3 kilometer 3 represent number and kilometer represent its units so 3 kilometer represent the magnitude so scalar quantity those quantity which have only magnitude but no direction is called scalar quantity distance speed time temperature mass length area etc these are all the scalar quantity so what is vector a vector has magnitude and direction for example this is vector a and this is blue line represent the direction of the given vector and the bold line represent the magnitude of the given vector means a vector those quantity which have magnitude as well as the direction is called a vector quantity displacement velocity acceleration force and momentum are all vector quantity and displacement so what is distance the actual path covered by a body is called distance look at the graph the blue line represent distance and displacement the shortest distance between two points is called displacement so the start starting point and the end point this is the short distance between these two points so this is called displacement so distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity displacement may be small or zero if you look down to the starting point but distance cannot be zero speed and velocity speed is how fast something moves velocity is speed with a direction look at the graph like let's suppose tiger run at 9 km it represents speed but if we say tiger runs 9 km per hour toward north this is called velocity so speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity a vector is often written as a board like a or b so that we know that it is not a scalar for example, C is a vector at his magnitude and direction. But if we write C is an italic form, but C is a scalar like 3 or 12.4, which have no direction but only magnitude. A vector can also be written as the letter of its head and to tell with an arrow above it like this. Let's suppose this is vector a b a represent tail and b represent the head so a is equal to a b vector addition of vector two vector can be add by head to tail rule so let's suppose this is vector a and this is vector b and the blue line represent the resultant vector a plus b it doesn't matter which order we add them we get the same result let this is vector b and this is vector a and the resultant vector b plus a which is equal to a plus b subtraction we can also subtract one vector from another by head to tail rule first we reverse the direction of the vector we want to subtract and then add them as usual let's suppose this is vector a and this is vector b uh, if we change the direction the red line represent minus b so if we subtract both the vector so a minus b the blue line repre uh, represent the resultant vector which is a minus b the most common way is to first break up vector into x and y parts like this let this is vector a this is vector 
ax along x axis and this is ay along y axis we can add vector by adding the x parts and adding then y parts let's suppose this is vector a along x axis 8 unit and along y axis 13 units this is vector b along x axis 26 unit along y axis 7 unit if we add both the vector a and b then first we add x component and y components let us vector a and b the x component is 8 plus 26 which is equal to 34 and the y components is 13 plus 7 which is equal to 20 and the red line represents the resultant vector a plus b so the vector 8 13 and the vector 26 7 add up to the vector 34 20 now addition and subtraction of a vector I look at the example add the vector a is equal to 8 13 and b is equal to 26 7 let c is equal to a plus b so put the value of a and b now add the x component and y components so we get the result 8 plus 26 and 13 plus 7 which is equal to 34 and 20 next example subtract u is equal to 4 5 from v is equal to 12 2 now let w is equal to u minus v put the value of u and v so 12 2 minus 4 5 now subtract x component and y components so 12 minus 4 which is equal to 8 2 minus 5 which is equal to minus 3 magnitude of a vector the magnitude of a vector is shown by two vertical bars or either side of the vector a we use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the magnitude of a vector uh, so the magnitude of a vector is equal to x square plus y square square root so what is the magnitude of a vector a is equal to 6 8 here x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 8 so put the value of x and y in Pythagoras theorem so we can write magnitude of a vector is equal to 6 square plus 8 square now by simplifying magnitude of a vector is equal to 36 plus 64 which is equal to 100 square root the 100 square root which is equal to 10 means this is vector a which is 6 unit and in, uh, along x axis and the next vector b which is 8 unit along y axis and the resultant vector a represent magnitude of a which is equal to 10 a vector with magnitude 1 is called unit vector multiplying a vector by a scalar when we multiply a vector by a scalar it is called scalar multiplication of a vector because we change how big or small the vector is for example multiply the vector a is equal to 7 3 by the scalar quantity let's suppose 3 so 3a is equal to 3 and to 7 or 3 3 multiplied 7 is equal to 21 and 3 multiplied 3 which is equal to 9 It's still point at the same direction, but 3 is 3 times longer.